मजा अच्छा तुम प्रॉफिट कितना मंगा रही थी चार सौ रूपए फर्स्ट ट्रेड बता दे एक सौ साठ रूपए इसमें ब्रोकरेज ही करता है ट्रेडिशनल ब्रोकर और शुड वी गो हेड विथ अ न्यू एज ब्रोकर और अ डिस्काउंट ब्रोकर नाउ अंडरस्टैंड टू टेक अ डिसीजन यू शुड बी वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रोकर and you should also keep on doing research of the latest additions to the existing brokers is there any broker who is trying to bridge the gap between these two and is trying to bring the best of the both worlds so that's what we are going to do as a detailed discussion in this video but before we move on i would love to thank dhruv and ritesh for their wonderful comments and ritesh it's so good to see that you have been my student since so many years you have mentioned about a4 audit which i started like what 8 or 10 years ago amazing now let's dig down deep and understand the exact difference between a full service broker and a discount broker first let's start with the meaning a full service broker also known as a traditional broker is a broker which provides a large variety of services to its clients such as what such as detailed research reports outlook reports margin facilities stock tips option calls and many more services but if i'm talking about a discount broker they are going to only provide you essential service essential service like what support for buying and selling of your securities okay now if i again go to various features the very first feature can be what research reports it could be either fundamental research reports or technical is a full service broker going to provide you with all these research reports answer is yes but discount broker usually will not provide you with these detailed research reports the next one is about stock recommendations or option calls it could be wealth management portfolio restruct restructuring and few allied services full service broker yes they are going to provide you with all such services but discount broker will not provide you with these services what about margin funding yes full service broker will provide you with margin funding but discount broker will not provide you with margin funding If I'm talking about about brokerage, how much brokerage will be charged? Full service broker generally will charge you a higher brokerage, and discount broker will generally charge you with a lower brokerage. But I hope now you are understanding the reason for this. What is the reason? Because a full service broker is providing you a basket of services. That is the reason why they are charging you more. And a discount broker is only providing you essential service, and that is why they are give, uh, charging you very less brokerage. Simple, very logical. next one is physical presence then for a full service broker online offline both presence will be there for a full service broker but for a discount broker generally only online presence will be there the next point is about dedicated or a personal relationship manager so for a full service broker generally you will get a dedicated or a personal relationship manager and discount broker generally will not get any dedicated manager as such a general manager will be there for resolution of your issues right and final one is like a call and trade facility you call the broker and you ask them to execute a trade generally this feature is available for both a full service broker as well as a discount broker now that all points have appeared on screen just pause the video take a screenshot and then proceed let me test whether you can yourself now answer whether which type of broker will be suitable for you answer this very carefully okay now i'm, I'm talking about bandhu okay and mr bandhu is a person who needs someone to guide him he needs research reports he needs a physical office he he wishes that he should go to the office and then execute trades okay he needs a a proper relationship manager for himself then what do you feel will a discount broker be suitable for mr bandhu no then in that case mr bandhu should go ahead with a full service broker but then let's take example of our chandu Chandu is like a tech savvy person. Chandu is a very well researched person. He knows which stock to buy, when to buy, when to sell. He knows everything. He is, as I mentioned, tech savvy. He can do all these online trades by himself. No need for any special manager, relationship manager as such. In that case, he can very well go ahead with a 
discount broker very good i hope you are able to answer the questions for chandu and bandhu right so with this the golden answer for your question is ask yourself which category do you fit into and based on that you decide whether a dis uh, whether a discount broker or a full service broker is suitable for you now i hope one thing is drilled into your mind what if you want more number of services then you will have to pay a higher brokerage and if you pay a lower brokerage you will have to settle down for less services but then you know me and my team we keep on searching whether there are any new additions new brokers who have come up with a golden combination of these two so something like with low brokerage is someone offering more services and that's where me and my team came across fisdom who launched their broking arm in october 2021 so let me tell you some amazing features about fisdom so let's come up to the first point that is pricing so typically you can visualize that all discount brokers generally charge a flat fee of 20 rupees or some percentage of the transaction value but then you know if you are a trader who trades frequently you eventually end up paying a lot of brokerage for such type of traders they have come up with something like a zero brokerage plan where you pay a flat subscription fee and then you will not be charged anything over and above that but the details of this plan are going to come up in the next section of the video right so what is established by fisdom yes you are going to pay a very low brokerage or a no brokerage if you go ahead with a subscription plan but then are they going to offer very less services they are offering quite a bit number of services which services let's check one by one the very first one is about the research recommendations now they give analyst recommendations on more than 3500 stocks they also give detailed research reports about fundamental analysis and technical analysts analysis of various stocks and also they give top picks recommended by a set of analysts right plus they also have a curated portfolio for different customer segments so this point is clear they give a lot of research reports other than that any other facility yes they also offer margin funding facility something for those who don't know what is a margin funding facility it's something like buy now pay later so first you buy stocks based on the available margin and then you pay to the broker right in addition to that they also have something like an equity sip in the stock segment as well so buy now many people know that you can do a, an sip in mutual funds but they also offer sip in stocks one more point that they provide is dedicated dealer support but this facility is available for hnis in addition to that they also provide a call and trade facility and if you are you know a proper full time trader kind of a thing for such people they also provide advanced charting they provide open interest analysis they give you real time news and event updates and so many more additional facilities let me show you some cool features of this amazing app so i'm just clicking on stocks and fndo here you can see a lot of stocks here i'm into the gainer section right now right so in the gainer section i just clicked on kotak bank now once i click on kotak bank i can just see that there's an overview tab but right now we are not going to go into the overview tab let me take you to the charts tab now in the charts tab you can see that this is by default a line chart is coming up i can of course choose candle and many more options are also available if you go to this section you can see that a lot of indicators are available including bollinger band and what not you can choose whichever fits into your own analysis right so this is about some basic options which are available for chart section now let me take you deeper into this we are on to the analysis tab now now in the analysis you can see both analysis are available technical as well as fundamental but right now let's focus only on technical analysis here you have loads of moving averages which are ready made available for you calculation is there on the plate typically i use 50 days average and 200 days moving average for my own analysis that's also very much available taking you down to the put call ratio now here i generally check the oi that is a open interest looking at this i can see that highest open interest i can see is at 1900 strike price for the call section and for the put side i can see that highest open interest is being built up at 1800 so what does this mean simple analysis is that at 1900 because call open interest is highest i see that there is a resistance for this stock at 1900 and because 1800 put is highest open interest i do see that there is a very strong support at 1800 but is this it or can i do further more analysis yes of course you can just click on the option chain which is also inbuilt in the app itself and it will take me directly to the 
ATM. ATM is at the at the money strike price. So here, if you remember, 1900 was the highest open interest ka strike price. So if I click here, here you can see that OI is already five. So percentage change in OI is 5.28 percent. Hmm, what does this What does this mean? Understand? Stock is already up by 1.6 percent. It is currently trading at 1884. Still. 1900 ka call sellers are firm at this price in fact there are additions at 1900 ka call okay what does this mean all those call writers they are firmly believing that yes 1900 is going to be a strong resistance it may cool off from this price but cool off till what level till 1800 by 1800 1800 so it may of course take some resistance in between also but where is a rock solid support you can see rock solid support will be at 1800 why you remember highest Peak open interest was at 1800. Here you can also see that 24.49% is percentage change in OI at this level. So based on this entire analysis, I can say that the stock may be like a range bound between 1800 and 1900. Now let me take you back to the analysis point. So here if you see OI, OI built up. So if I go to the OI built up, here you can see that I have different options. Now what is this? SC is short covering. LB is long built up. LU is long unwinding. Now, if I start teaching all these terms right now, then it will take another one or two hours. So, ideally, you should be aware about all these terms if you are going into the option chain analysis part, right? Plus, all three expiries are available right in front of you. What is the scene with May? What is the scene with June, July, everything? And this is just a 60 minutes. You can also check 15 minutes OI build up. So, if I go to show more, you will see all these entire detailed analysis is here even for 30 minutes also Achha, let me take you back to option chain one more amazing point was that uh, chalo, let me go to uh, 26th may again and let me take you to 1900 here you can also see that various greeks are available delta gamma vega theta rho everything is available here so i think an amazing point in this feature in this app is that not only option chain is being very easily shown here they are also showing all the option greeks as well well taking you back to the analysis part now here you can see even delivery quantity built up so if you just have a look at this even yesterday more than 60 percent of the total volume was the delivery percentage so more than 60 percent is delivery of the total volume that's a very good sign five days average is also fair enough even if you are checking the 30 day average delivery is more than 50 percent of the total volume so now let me take you to one more amazing point let me just toggle this equity to derivative segment now all right now why is this important i had chosen uh kotak just randomly right but if i want to choose any stock based on some amazing additional insight then now that i've toggled to derivatives here you can see oi gainers now I can say, oh, highest OI gainer is at for DV Slab and where 3650 ka PE is having highest open interest as one of the gainers, right? Plus, if you see 3700 CE is having the highest gainer. So, again, can I interpret that DV Slab might again be range bound in between what and what? 3650 and 3700. So, I hope with this, you got a fair enough understanding about all the features which are available for those who use technical analysis while dealing in derivatives. Well, now that you have understood how to do the technical analysis, how to check the option chain in the app, let me tell you about their freedom plan. Now, what is this freedom plan? If you remember in the previous section of the video, I told you that if you subscribe for one of their plans, then you will get unlimited trading with zero brokerage so this freedom plan basically you can subscribe for two months at just 2500 rupees of course they also have an annual plan once you subscribe to this plan what are the benefits that you get you get unlimited trading with zero brokerage you get a dedicated dealer you also get a super trade terminal and you get an access to the stock plus reports well is this plan mandatory the answer is obviously no you can very well go ahead without this plan as well but then how do you decide whether you are going to go ahead with this plan or whether you should stay away from this plan. For that, I'll give you a very simple example. Now, assume that you are a you are a person who takes two trades per day. Okay. Now, two trades per day means what? Buy, sell, buy, sell. I'm saying such kind of two trades. Then how much brokerage you will have to pay? In that case, it will be 80 rupees per day brokerage, 20 rupees per side, right? If you have not taken that plan. In this case, assuming that there are 40 trading days in two months, how much will you have to pay? 40 multiplied by 80, that will take you to 
थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड रुपीज वर्थ ब्रोकरेज फॉर जस्ट टू मंथ्स नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग हेड विद दिस इफ यू टेक द फ्रीडम प्लान यू विल हैव टू पे जस्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बट इफ यू आर ट्रेडिंग वे टू लेसर देन दिस देन इन दैट केस गोइंग विदाउट दिस प्लान मेक्स मच मोर सेंस आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू चूज वेदर यू शुड ऑप फॉर दिस और यू कैन गो हेड विद द नॉर्मल प्लान इट सेल्फ राइट In addition to this plan, they can they also offer various leverage products like margin trading facilities also available with them. So again, let me give you a simple example. Assume that you have some cash in your account and plus you have stocks worth fifty thousand rupees in your DMAT account. Then you can take a position of approximately one lakh rupees by paying a nominal charge, and of course you will have to take some mandatory haircut for that as well. So all in all, what did we cover? We covered the technical analysis, OI. We talked about the freedom plan, and we also talked about the margin funding facility. Now let me show you some features for those who are fundamental analysts, right? So for that, let me just take you to the stocks and FNO point. Here, instead of Kotak Bank, now let us say we are choosing. power grid right so now in power grid like we saw there is an overview tab here you will have multiple stats right but before we go on to that let me take you to analysts view now now what do we see here first of all we see that okay it's into the utilities sector and it is it is a large cap now here you can also see that a super score is given okay and again who gives this score these are scores given by various analysts so this has a 7 on 10 score now If you see here, thirty six percent of the analysts, out of how many analysts, twenty two analysts, thirty six percent say it's a strong buy, forty five percent say it's a buy, hold is eighteen percent. No one is going ahead with reduce or sell, right? Now, if you see here, outlook is also given. Three types of outlooks: negative, neutral, or positive. But majority of them are giving a neutral outlook, and there you can see some. reasons also uh, for the negative uh, for the neutral outlook now some ratings are also given but if i scroll down i think one more amazing feature they give a 12 month price target as well low side what will be the price target average what can be the price target and on a higher side what can be the price target here also download report option is available and this report also you can get free of cost right now let me go to the analysis tab and here like we saw there is either technical analysis or fundamental analysis so if i click on the fundamental analysis tab now you can see lots of ratios plus all these ratios are available either on standalone financial statements or consolidated financial statements as well standalone you can see a lot of ratios something like pe peg that is price uh, earnings to growth here you can also also see dividend yield current ratio debt to equity loads of ratios are available here right now you can also see major parameters like what is the trend of the revenue what is the trend of ebit trend of ebitda trend of net profit of course i'm i'm presuming i'm assuming that you know all these terms right so here you can see that their revenue is a little bit shaky you can see ebit june 21 was like amazing but then you know it's it's more of like going up and then down recovering a little bit you can see same trend for ebitda you can also see a very similar trend for net profit but if you want to check who what, how is the share holding pattern so for that you can see 51.34% is promoter uh, holding in the entire total share holding pattern you can also see a good fii holding almost 29.35% mutual funds are also holding 8.25% which mutual funds for that you can also just scroll to the right you can see which or mutual funds are holding this stock so this is an a complete list right going ahead you can see a peer comparison as well you can see power grid and all these are the compete uh, uh, are all their peers but then you can compare them based on what compare them based on pe market capitalization one year return eps pb all these parameters are readily available on the app if you scroll down you can see annual report here it's more or less like summary of annual report when you can see your income statement you can also see the income statement here if i want to toggle it also gives you consolidated view of the income statement as well just below that you can see all the expenses are also listed down you can see the final profitability as well you can just scroll up and go to the balance sheet section as well and in balance sheet if you just click on show more entire balance sheet again in a summary format is shown you can also toggle down to consolidated view of the annual report plus if you just click on results you can see their quarterly results of the latest two quarters plus they have also tied up with wealth desk it's like a theme based portfolio which is a basket of portfolio having variety of equity stocks and which are curated by various analysts 
I'm sure by now you have understood that as far as investing in equities is concerned, this is a very good app which has a lot of tools for fundamental analysis, for technical analysis, even for advanced analysis like option chain also all features are available including option Greeks. But all in all, only for equity. Now if I want to trade in currency, then what? Currency trading is also available through their platform. What about IPOs, FPOs? Take, you can do that using the same platform. Well, if you want to buy mutual funds, available. Um, if you want to invest in SGBs, available. If you want to do an SIP, available. If you want to get income tax filing assistance, well, that is also available. And if you want to invest in NPS or even if you want to buy insurance, all these are also available on this platform itself. I can say this is like a one-stop solution for majority of your financial needs. Now, if this be so, if all these features are available, have some big banks also tied up with them. So for that, let me tell you an amazing point that FISDOM has partnered for their bro uh, broking and wealth management solutions. They have, plat uh, they have partnered with all these major banks like Indian Bank, Yuko Bank, Punjab National Bank, Bank of Maharashtra, Karnatak Bank, City Union Bank, Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank and so many more banks, right? So again, I feel this is also a positive point that they have tied up with all these bigger institutions as well, especially for their broking and wealth management solutions. Now, what all do they have? They have an app, they have a website, they have a super trade terminal. They also have a call and trade facility for the customer convenience. How many more points do I have to tell you? If you are convinced with all these points and if you want to open your account with Fisdom, then don't forget to check out the link in the description box. Your a nominal account opening fee is just 299 rupees. And for those enthusiastic people, you have an early bird offer where there'll be no DMAT AMC charges for one year. Well, I hope you enjoyed this entire video. If you found some value in this, don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you want to learn more about fundamental analysis, you can click here. If you want to learn more about technical analysis, you can click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.